Prepare to be amazed, Kaoru. So yeah, Majima just hangs out over at Purgatory now. Of course. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's make our way over there. Boy. But first... Cool. Here's uh, another pupil of the Komaki school. Ooh. Komaki is Kiryu's... Uh, his master from the previous game. And, uh, it seems Kawaki would like to, uh, to help us uh, get back into shape again. Cool. Also, there, here's a new mechanic. We can fight street bosses now. They're just they're they're little mini bosses, and we get a little bit of extra experience for fighting them, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's look at uh this letter. I, uh, I apologize for skipping that first paragraph, but anyway, Kamaki's over in the, uh, Champion District, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, make our way over there. The Champion District is on the east side of town. Um, I think it's a little bit... It's like northeast-east or something? But the champion district in the in Kamurocho is more or less a a it's a bunch of bars. It's also a really tight alleyway. Uh, there's also a couple guys here, and you know, since we got Kaoru following us, why don't we uh, why don't we go fight with her? So she and Kiryu have a co-op G action too. I think in the PS2 version they have a, a second co-op heat action, but I'm not 100% sure anymore. I because I can't not I cannot find my footage of it if it exists. I missed the dual attacks. <laughs> They're always, uh, a treat. Anyway, uh, the Champion District can... There, there's three entrances to the Champion dis District. Um, we can go from the north side, under, from underneath a Popo. There's, uh, an entrance across the street from... The, uh, the video store, which we'll we'll get to that later, and then there's the south side. I mean, unless it's plot critical, and then you can only enter from one way. Yeah, exactly. All right. There's a there's a bunch of sub stories here, but we'll we'll get to those, or at least some of them next time. Anyway, here's Kamaki. He hangs out in this little uh, 
this little corner of the champion district. So, for our first lesson, and I apologize for going quickly, uh, Komaki's gonna teach us Extreme Heat Mode, which is a uh, mechanic that's actually ported from Yakuza 6. Uh, when your heat is full, you can press R2, L R right trigger, whatever, to activate Extreme Heat, which actually, uh, your heat will drain, but your your fighting style changes up a little bit. Uh, you get more heat actions for doing things like dashing into opponents. Uh, your 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 basic combo changes too, so your basic punch combo is basically infinite. And you also get sorry, what? You get to do that thing where like Goku, you just like grunt quite a bit and then scream, and pebbles just start lifting and hopping around. Yeah. No, I haven't seen that. Damn it. But I will say, uh, extreme heat mode brings back the heat, the that the beast style thing where you can, where you will seamlessly pick up uh, weapons from the ground and integrate them into your combos. Nice. Uh. So yeah, extreme heat is fun. Just uh, you need a lot of heat to use it. So Kamaki is the guy in black. No, actually. It's, come on. Who just he's, texted he's us? Just... Oi. No, the guy in black is watching. He, he's watching us learn uh, cool. extreme heat. Yeah, because he's teaching it. Look, he's in black. It's a little hard to see, but he's actually wearing green. Uh, I'm being lied to. Any... Anyway, we're going to learn the Kamaki fist reversal now. This is the second of five uh, training lessons with him. So, when you say fist reversal, are we talking about tiger drop? No, no. He's not actually going to teach us tiger drop. Why, game? Why do you always we, withhold such beautiful yeah. combat arts? We, we we will learn the tiger drop in due time. It's never... In fact, due time was 13 episodes ago. I mean, I don't disagree, but... <laughs> No, the, I, I don't know. They There's a very specific moment where we learn the tiger drop. Or at least we ha we will get access to it. Mm. So, this 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 heat action uh, is a counter move. When, if you're standing still and the enemy attacks you, if you're uh, fast enough and you can hit triangle and uh, counter attack them. There's uh, three different versions depending on which direction they're coming at you from. I'm a I'm a big fan of the 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 one that you do when they're coming at you straight on. I thought you were but they're all really good. I thought you were gonna say the left hook or the left jab. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan of that too. So do you think Komaki pays those guys, or they're just like random ruffians that he lets out of a cage? They know better. <laughs> and uh, just like with acupuncture moves, you you still have to spend experience to gain to, to use these at actions. Ooh. So yeah. Uh, Make sure you go into the, the the stats menu after you learn your moves. Yeah, make sure to pay attention to your stats. Uh, yes. It's called character building for a reason, folks. Alright. 
The nice thing about Kamaki's training in this game is that you, you can just go through all of it. Like, you don't have to arbitrarily learn certain moves before you can continue his training. Nice. This time, yeah. we're gonna learn how to, uh, how to defend ourselves from guns. I'm really glad that we don't have to wait for, like, specific, like, story segments for us to be able to get this stuff. Yeah. How quickly can you get the Kamaki? The what? How quickly can you get the Kamaki? Oh. Uh, literally as soon as you, uh, get back, t or as soon as you bring Sayama underwear and a beer. Huh. Okay, so to use this one, hold R1 and then press triangle near an enemy with a gun. You do not get the gun for yourself, but it can be good to take the heat off when an enemy is uh, being obnoxious with a, a gun. Mm. Uh, there's two different versions, one for rifles and one for pistols. Yeah, it must not have been a really strong or a big caliber because... <laughs> Didn't even flinch. <laughs> How have you not boosted attack a single time? Thank you. <laughs> I would have had that maxed out first thing. I think actually I've had that. So I haven't I haven't really explained this, but um, the uh, the stat boost system works like this. Like you can get it, your stats leveled up all the way, mm. but then you you can buy the limit break to uh, extend it even further. Nice. There's a couple limit breaks for every stat, and I'm I think I was at like a third or fourth limit break for attack by that point. Mm. Attack is the the stat I prioritize, so uh, didn't look like it. Well, that's because I already filled out a bunch of attack levels, and uh, uh, I wanted to get other things up to speed too. Need to be able to one hit punch everybody. <laughs> okay, so the uh, the next lesson is just a fight with Kamaki. Of course. This oh, one is no gonna... heat actions. Boo. This is that makes this actually really brutal. Uh, no items, no weapons, no heat actions. Komaki is very tough. He's yeah. practically cheating. Yeah, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> like he, he has a bunch of actions that we do not know how to use yet, and uh. More, more or less, he fights the same way we do. Um, but he, he just has the fully realized style. Ooh. I think the hardest thing about this fight to me is the fact that I can only really like hit him once before I have to start guarding. Um... That, that sweep attack is actually pretty good if it actually lands, because it'll knock him down. Um... I think charge attacks might be good too, to, to break his guard at, at the very least. Mm -hmm. That, uh... That thing he just did with his arm is a the Komaki counter. Basically, if you attack into it, you you're you're caught off guard, and then that that gives him a window to just attack you. Right. It's pretty nasty to deal with. Uh, at some point, I realized that the best strategy for this is gonna be to just like spam the the parry. Oh, he also he also can use extreme heat, by the way. Lame. I'm glad that your um, your accuracy with the uh, the drop kick is 
about as well as any wrestler who's ever used it in professional wrestling. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I, d I forget if I showed it off in this LP yet or not, but the parry, uh, oh, that, that thing that tiger just blew drops. me away is the tiger drop. Yeah, he can, he starts using the tiger drop at his last life bar. Um, the parry is a thing you do if you, uh, time your guard, the guard button with an enemy attack. And when you do that, you basically pull their arm forward and, uh, stumble them, so you get a chance to retaliate. And it is clearly spammable. Yes. Like straight up, if you see me just like, like rapidly pre mashing the, my guard like that, it's because I'm I'm parry fishing. Seems a little cheesy. It is, but good God, you, Omaki is a tough customer. And for finishing Kamaki's uh, training, we get the Peerless Tile, mm. which is an item we can use when we play Mahjong, and uh, we'll we'll get to that later. Hooray! But yeah, if you if you are like me and you don't like playing Mahjong, do yourself a favor and do the Kamaki trainings. I mean, you should do them anyway because the they're fun and uh, his theme is legitimately wonderful. Mm. But you d you're definitely going to want to get the Peerless Tile if you don't like Mahjong. Right. 